Nine months before Kabul fell, 23 Liberal MPs sent a letter to the Ministers of Immigration and Foreign Affairs warning them of the danger Afghan interpreters and those that serve Canada would face when the Taliban took over. They pleaded to help those families to immigrate to Canada with their families as soon as possible. Why did this government fall on deaf ears and ignore their own MPs and abandon thousands of Afghan interpreters and our allies, leaving them in harm's way? The Honourable Minister of Immigration. Mr. Speaker, I thank the Honourable Member for the question. I think it's important to reflect on the fact that during the fall of Kabul, there was an absolute emergency, and we did what we could to rescue thousands of vulnerable Afghans who are now living in Canada. I'm pleased to share today that there are more than 7,500 Afghan refugees living in Canada today. The situation in Af I'm going to have to interrupt the Honourable Minister of Immigration. We will not let the Honourable uh, Minister continue now. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the reality is the fact that the situation in Afghanistan is so terrible that it's why we have made a world-leading commitment to resettle 40,000 Afghan refugees. I'm pleased to share with this House, Mr. Speaker, there are now more than 7,500 in Canada today, and we will not waver until we succeed in our mission to welcome 40,000 to our country. Honourable Member for Calgary, Forest Lawn. Mr. Speaker, they were busy knocking on doors, and there's no pride in only achieving 20 percent of that target, and the minister should be ashamed of himself for abandoning and then and also uh, standing up for uh, an election instead of helping those Afghans. Yeah. The minister should be thanking the veterans, NGOs, and here, here. those in our NATO allies who actually stepped up when his government failed to. UNHCR testified that they had a plan to evacuate Afghan refugees back in January of 2021. This government knew about it and they ignored it. Why was an election plan more important than an evacuation yeah. plan? The Honourable Minister. Take this opportunity to thank the veterans organizations, the NGOs, and the NATO allies yeah, yeah. who were helpful in rescuing Afghan refugees, some of whom are now in Canada. But the politicization of this event by the member opposite is a disgrace, Mr. Speaker. When he said I should be ashamed of our record on Afghanistan, I would remind him that he campaigned during that election that he just spoke about to bring precisely zero Afghan refugees. Moreover, Mr. Speaker, if you look at their platform, you will see that they campaign on a commitment to end the government assistance refugee stream altogether that has resettled thousands of Afghan refugees who now call Canada home.